match day four along with his versus AC Jimeni. <clears throat> the last time these two competitive teams faced off, it was an amazing 6-1 victory for AC Jimeni. Making a few changes, putting Michael instead of Sigrist in goal, and AC Jimeni putting a Maniero as striker instead of Pandev. The 21st minute, we saw that Languidez meant business. With an audacious spin from Obaton and one heck of a shot, that definitely showed the visitors that hey, Languidez meant business and you know y'all better be on your toes. Although, you know, it didn't make it in the goal, it was definitely a wake up sign for AC Gemini. Languidez added again. El Muriel again showing his speed but not showing his finishing. Completely missing the goal. 30th minute, a pass from Jovetic, a beautiful cross from Modesto led to the other Italian partner Maniero scoring the header to make it 0-1 uh, <clears throat> at the 30th minute. <clears throat> Very beautifully placed, Maniero's goal was, Maniero's header was, Michael had no chance. At the 42nd minute, Maniero was looking for his second goal, but it just wasn't there, being pressured from two defenders. A set piece from Master, and an equally beautiful cross from Modesto's assist from Jovetic led to Maniero's attempt on the second goal. <clears throat> At the halftime, there were a lot of talking points, especially for Languidez, and hell, even the opposition. 49th minute, Mamadou Sako's terrible pass over to Sedek Hezimal almost turned into a goal for Modesto, but he failed to convert it. 56th minute, an amazing pass from Bergvold's Majestic turned into an assist from Jovetic and a goal for Ekman. Ekman just returned from injury and he was, you know, out of place for three matches. So it was pretty, must have been a pretty great feeling to score on his match back or day back, as you could say. The 63rd minute, another blunder from Languidez led to it almost becoming 0 3, but Michael's goalkeeping prevented that. The 73rd minute, uh, <clears throat> a brave run by Ekman led to a supposed foul by Kezimo. Uh, Jovetic thought he could go for himself for the upper left 90, <clears throat> but it just could not be converted. It, it was a great shot by the 22-year-old European winger, but, you know, there were probably better options than going for it himself. The 82nd minute, Thiago... Tiago's set piece over to Obaton led to a chance, but then a defensive error led to Obaton definitely make it in, making it in. The 15 year old, or the number 15, who is one of the best wingers in the league, <clears throat> set up a great piece for Languidez. Um, raising confidence, really. But instead, it was another goal, and this time it was by Danish midfielder Bergwald for AC Gemini. This led, this led it to be 1-3, and <clears throat> AC Gemini literally just set the whole game with that goal. Although the Longwoodes, the Longwoodes line tried hard with Obaton's goal at the 88th minute, it was just not enough to go against the Gladiators. It was terrible possession ratios, with actually Longwoodes holding it up. AC Gemini are now in second place. But AC Master are still in first.